Yo, going fishing. Um, the video I did last night talking about the keys that I look for when I'm red fishing, I'm gonna use those now. We had a little cold front come through, so, but I'm still gonna check shallow and work my way out into deeper water. So start shallow, go deep. I'll get you guys a water temperature and everything when I get out there. I'm gonna hook up the fish finder and uh, we'll get you an exact water temperature and I'll try to explain myself a little better once I get out there. So I hope you guys are ready for an epic video because I feel it. I don't know, I feel it today. And also, had a subscriber hit me up with a couple lures. Well, it's one, it's different colors, two different colors, but let me go ahead and show these off. You ever seen those? MrWiffleLure.com. They look almost like a sassy shad, but with like a paddle, t with like a, yeah, you know, like a paddle tail with the holes in it. They, you know, they give off like bubbles when the tail moves. So I'm gonna try this out. I got the chartreuse and I got the white. Gonna try those out and see what we can do. That's all I'm gonna throw because I feel like they're gonna hit them anyway. They, they look good and we're gonna look at them in the water. I'm gonna try to get some footage of them underwater as well. I don't have a selfie stick to extend right now. Mine broke, so I'm gonna see what I can do. Thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see. Enjoy. Just so wanted to show you guys how low the water is and how I'm about to be stuck on the bottom. Y'all ready? The tide's still falling, so I gotta be careful. Ooh, that's low. Ooh, that's a bad spot right there, y'all. But uh, I'm hoping the tide flips around and starts coming in soon, because uh, if not, I'm gonna have to go through open water and it's blowing about 25 out the east, so that's not gonna be great. Anyways, I'll update you guys in a minute. All right, I got the lure on. I'm in some some back waters. These waters are low right now. The tide's falling out really hard. So I'm gonna fish these edges, see what the fish are doing. There's a bite. Oh, that wasn't, that was very uh, troutish. It's very trouty. But I'm hoping these fish are gonna be laying on these little edges in this current. Let's see what we could do. The water temperature says it is. What the heck is it? 59. So it did fall quite a bit. It fell from that cold front, which is exciting. I just gotta find the fish now. Hooked up on the whiffle, baby. I don't think he's a keeper though. Uh, maybe he is. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. For the whifferlure.com. Oh God, I lifted him. I lifted him like I was fishing. I, I lifted him like I did my pro TI. I gotta be careful, mindful of that. Oh, he's cool guys. He is cool. He's got some chill to him. Incher. Y'all check him out, baby. First fish of the day, and I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Good one. Good one. They're being finicky. He barely hit it. Good fish, good heavy solid fish here. He's probably the one, maybe not, who knows, but he might be the one that went through those minnows. These fish are still shallow, guys. They don't curve. Nice heavy little fish there on the Mr. Wiffle tail bait. I like it. 
There goes the red. Look at this big old crab I'm about to scoop. He ain't that big, but he's alright. I might use him later for sheephead bait. Trout. Little red. I was hoping there'd be some stacked right here on this little point. It's got a good little drop off, man, right on the edge. Really nice drop off. Rat. Rats for days. Hey man, this lure is holding up. I've done caught several fish on it. So, so far, I do like it. I like the tail. I really like it. Like that. I don't know if he's big though, actually. Yeah, he's not. He thought he was big. He's a preteen. Not a baby, but definitely not grown up yet. Like right here, it's got a rat red written all over it. <laughs> what did I say, dude? These things love points with a drop off. Ow. Hold on, man. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Hold up better than a gulp. I know that much. Every time, every time you get to a point, every time. Oh, oh lordy. Put the spinner bait on. gonna be a grind today unless I find them somewhere but these fish are shallow and scattered oh man so I put the spinner bait on because I was seeing them shallow you know put a little gulp on it my other battery's dead but that's a nice one right there heavy solid and he's about 21 and a quarter inches so yeah, nice fish. That's a limit, but I commercial fish, so I keep over the limit. I sell them, just for the new guys who don't know. guy. I'm about to lose my other pole back here. It's caught in the marsh. Oh my god! 
redfish did everything he could to get off, dude. Spinnerbait, shallow redfish. Probably about to get stuck. Ooh, check that one out, y'all. Can y'all see me? 22 and a half, probably. 23. 23. Beautiful red on the spinnerbait. Shallow water. 50, 58 degree water. Look at that big red. Look at that big red. You see it? I don't know if you can see it. I may be on to something. Alright, let me get another battery. For my chest cam. I'll be back, guys. Thank you for watching. As soon as I turn the camera off, big boy here sticks it. I can't lift them because my thing's gonna bend. I gotta be careful with this one. I forgot about that. I'm glad I remembered. All right, I got two crabs in the net, so this should be fun. My net's not even open. Ah, Christmas tree, I mean spinner bait. Oh, spinner bait. You're just like my brother. I mean that in a way, because like my brother doesn't remind me of a spinner bait. It's just, that's how close I am to a spinner rate. It's like brotherly love, you know what I mean? God, you're not even that big. I thought you were like, good grief. Oh my God, don't pinch me, crab. Hold on guys, I'm having a lot of issues right now. There we go. Slow rolling it on the edge of the shallow. It's like a hump up here and there's a little dip and I'm slow rolling it down that dip to catch these guys on the spinner bait, baby. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't know if y'all knew, but I can actually count, so. I learned that about five years ago. I'm 30, year, I'm like 20 years old, so. Spinner bait, oh spinner bait. I let you sink like a jig. I let you sink like a jig on that point. He thumped it, dude. He thought he was a... I don't even know what I was going to say there, but let's, let's throw... Spinner bait. Oh, spin. Oh, my gosh. I just got destroyed right there, guys. Oh, my God. There goes the mud. He was a good one. Oh, he was a good one. He, he was, oh my gosh, that was a good one. Why did I miss him? He thumped it so hard. Put on a shark truth, Mr. Wiffle, because the other one fell apart. And I caught him like second cast. A little 19 and a halfer. Right by this little cut. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna get low. Good one. Y'all almost saw me breaking another rod, probably. Ow. Mr. Wiffle. Like a wiffle ball. I just seen one pop and then right when he popped I hooked into one at the same time it was weird. It was a different fish though.
Guys, I'm in some of the lowest water I've seen in a long time. I just hit a mud flat that I'd never even hit before in my whole life. There's a fish. I just pulled up and I get a rat. Salutations. Hello. Hello, little guy. I'm looking for your daddy. He's probably been caught already, actually. All right. That was first cast fish. So let's see if we can relive that with a bigger fish. I just put the gulp on because I don't want to run out of Mr. Wiffles. I want to try them for trout one night or a day or some point, and I don't want to use them all. Okay, I got a bilge pump on or something. Okay, I got it. Hello. Well, it's your daddy. I don't know why. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Hit it going down. Oh, he hit it. He actually did. It's a trout. Hello. I don't know where all of your friends. All, I mean, there should be some more trout around. I'm just not on them where I'm at. But they're usually here. All right, baby. Here comes the big red. Y'all ready? All right. Well, I found the uh, annoying fish. Love it. I said, all right, guys, I'll be back. Press the button. The camera wasn't even turned off yet, and he hit it. So I didn't get the strike on camera. Mother effer, son of a biznatch. It's a good red there. I won't freaking lie to you. Dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance, monkey. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh my gosh, get in the net. You think I'd extend my net, you know? You think I'd extend my net at some point? Oh, it's one of the better ones. It's one of the better ones, kind of, maybe. I don't know. Beautiful fish, guys. Okay. The rats love being on the camera. They're young and stupid. They're like, oh, sorry, guy. They just love being on camera. Big ones do not like it. Six pounds, three ounces coming at you. Come on, six pound, three ounce red. Did I say six pounds, three ounces? I meant to say zero pounds, six ounces. My bad. My bad. I sometimes, you know, confuse it. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here he comes. Trout. Fourteen and a half or almost, probably. But, he gets to be released. Rat red. He fooled me. For a moment, I thought he was bigger, so I hit the camera. Dude, I've caught so many rat reds off camera today. Oh, it's craziness how many there are. Oh. Man, that sucker bumped it right when it hit the bottom. You know what it is, though. You know what it is, though. Hold up. <laughs> I wanted to make a point to catch him. I knew he was still that there was a couple still down there. Oh, 
Oh, I just I just stuck a good one, baby. Right here in the middle of this shallow canal on the spinner bait. Good one. Stupid, stupid short neck because of me. <sighs> They're shallow, man. They are so shallow. Whew. Good one, baby, on the corner of the mouth with the gulp that's crusty and old. Has no tail action. Beautiful fish. 24 and a quarter. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to say what was happening right here. I was in this stretch of canal, and I'm telling you, if I didn't see 100 redfish, I didn't see one. They were in about 10 inches, 8 inches of water. And let me tell you something, they would not bite anything. I was throwing my lure in their faces and they were just not having anything I was doing. So the tide quit and they were just kind of sitting there and not moving until I would get on top of them with the boat, then they would take off. But let me tell you, these fish were everywhere. And let me say, let me tell you one more time because why not? Anyways, yeah. I guess I'm just going to play the camera out, oh, guys. I saw a big one next cast. I caught this little one. I just saw a big one swimming. Some fish in here. Oh, man. All right, guys, I'm stuck way in the marsh. The water's so low. I was hitting bottom everywhere I went. So I gotta get out of here, cause yeah, it's pretty low. I'm in like this deep of water. There is a million redfish in here. Now I couldn't get one of them to bite. They were popping everywhere. They were freaking running from me constantly. It was a mess. But look at that sunset. Look at that sunset. Whew. Take a picture. Well, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little picture act. All right, I'm done. Okay, I just took a whooping around that corner. I'm talking two, two footers, three. I don't know. I had to ride them just right, but this boat is a beast. Look at me. I'm wild now. Okay, bye.